ask, where is Mr. Wright? Well, ladies, he may be hard to find because men are apparently going on strike, boycotting marriage, among many other things. According to a recent study, the importance of marriage has gone up for the women, up to 37 percent, and down for men to 29 percent. Here to explain the trend is forensic psychologist and author of the controversial book, Men on Strike. Dr. Helen Smith is here this morning. Uh, doctor, nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me on. We were having a bit of a discussion about this uh, last weekend I on saw that. the show. <laughs> and the argument is what? That men simply are giving up hope on marriage because um, they're feeling beaten down? No, I don't think they're giving up on hope on marriage. I think what they're doing is they're looking at it at the cost reward. Men look at things in terms of cost analysis. And the penalties for marriage are so high and the rewards now are so low. First of all, there's, there's legal costs of marriage. There are so many men now who are just saying, you know what, it's just not worth it to me. I'm going to be stuck paying the alimony. I'm going to be stuck paying for child support. And it's not just legal reasons. It's also psychological ones where men feel that um, basically they don't really have rights in marriage. Women hold all the cards now in reproduction and all kinds of things, and men don't. Well, that's all true. I mean, I agree with that completely. But it still doesn't absolve men of the responsibility to stop complaining okay. about how the cards are against them and man up and become him because you don't become a man until you assume responsibility. What, what man would take such a raw deal? I don't consider that a man. Well, it's not, actually, it's not a raw deal. You, you derive deep satisfaction as a man by taking responsibility for other people. That's the only place you get deep, deep satisfaction. So men are supposed to take a really bad deal and sign their rights away, and you call that a good deal. Look, you would understand economic well, rewards. I did. You did well. Maybe that's that's good, and maybe you have a really good wife. But a lot of men don't feel that way. But see, doctor, here's where I get confused. I, and forgive me, I just went to a wedding last night, so I'm feeling all loved up. Euphoric. Very, yeah. very, because it was beautiful. <laughs> At any time that you do see a wedding, that the hope is renewed, and it does remind you but of what's great about marriage. Right. And so you act as though marriage is such a raw deal for men, but you do get companionship, and you get love, and you get a family. And I see men enjoying all of that and embracing all of that. That's a different topic. Though. Those are also things that you can get with a relationship. We're talking about the legal aspect of marriage. That's, I'm talking about the political and the legal ramifications of marriage, where men aren't getting such a good deal there. And there are thousands of men across the country that I've spoken to and that will tell you differently. And the statistics are bearing that out. A lot of men, you think men need to man up, but to man up, you have to be getting something out of that relationship. What you're saying is that men are getting something just by, by having a woman. They're well, just well, so lucky. Here's the thing. They're allowed. The one thing I agree with you on is men are getting away with having children without marrying the woman. They're not getting they away have. with it. What's happening is a lot of women, number one, don't want them. The lower level women, what's happening is 40% of the women who are breadwinners, a lot of those lower level women are making seventeen to $23,000. Those women use the government to pay for themselves. They don't want a man. So rather than some of men are just opting. That's a Why hasn't that's a man disaster. written this book? Why hasn't a man written this book? You because because men can't speak up. I'm here to speak up because people will actually listen to a woman. It's really unfortunate. I want the next man, and I'm hoping by this book that that next man is out so there. What, 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 what what Hold on, I want to say something is? as a man, because I, this always has frustrated me when I see commercials when men sort of speak up, they're acting like men, right? And all these commercials are out there where the man's like the, the lazy guy on the couch. He's a tool. But look the what the culture back. is doing to the men. Culture is telling men, you are no good. You are no good in marriage. You are no good. Even you all are hearing here. here saying man up to men, and that's a really negative message to be, to, to be sending to men. But what do you think the solution is? The solution is for us to have fair laws and things for men, and to also, these commercials, we need to look at the culture and say, you know what, quit treating men like trash. Seriously, we treat men very poorly in this society, from all the way from men who don't want to go to college anymore because there are many things in college that go on. It is a female-dominated place where men are not treated in a way that is fair. It's easy to sit here and say, as high-level men and, and women, that things are going well for you, but I've seen many men who are average, lower, and even higher level men who aren't having such a good time. Yeah. And if you read my book, you might understand a little bit more about. The book is called Men on Strike. It is compelling, and I think you make a, I think you make a compelling argument. An awful lot of people are reading your book, yeah. by the way. We'd love to hear what you all good. have to say. You can find us all on Twitter. Dr. Helen Smith, thanks so much.